Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Park Strip Racing 2 with Brogue Hammer Auto House. Today's episode is all about the Z Smo, which is the orange car I'm driving here on screen. And um, this one in particular, I do have the engine swap for, so it does have the 3.6 liter twin turbo motor from the GTR. Um, since I got the engine swap, I do enjoy the car much more. This Zismo car, the 370Z, is able to have such massive angle compared to some of the other cars I've driven in this game that um, it really is a fun one to drive. So we're going to dive into the tune here uh, towards the end of the video and show you all the tune details of the car. But um, starting off with some spirited driving here, I did do a couple tandems with the car to make sure everything um, was behaving properly, make sure that I can, you know, follow down, chase down cars that uh, might be a little bit slower than it or faster. And uh, so far, so good. I really like the car. Uh, the tune that I have is pretty well dialed in, but I know I might still play with it a little bit more in the future. And as always, you guys can always tweak them um, on your own as well. That's the nice part about uh, just giving you guys these tunes. So I've had a couple random questions from people like, how do I do these open free modes like this? Um, when you go to single player and you, on the very left of the track selection, there's a training uh, box and when you click that you can get the whole entire map open and it's just unlocked for you to go mess around practice and and play uh, you won't get any money for that but uh, it's still fun nonetheless so I do have this thing kind of carted out I'll call it um, the front end is all removed the fenders the hood and the bumper but um, I thought it looked kind of cool and it's just one of those things for Z's that they don't look all that exciting to me in general so uh, they do have some cool kits. The CBW kit's cool. The R&T kit's cool um, and a bit wider, but they all end up with that like shark nose look. And um, personally, I'm just not uh, real big on that. So I went with the missile and then removed the front fenders and uh, hood and everything. So like I said, I do have the engine up to the 3.8 liter, liter um, motor. So, And as always, guys, on these, you can pause it and uh, write down the settings if you'd like. I do scroll through them a little bit fast, but... Um, no sway bar on the front here, a little bit of toe, camber, caster. You can read everything, like I said, pause it um, if I'm moving too fast and, and go back and write those down. Um, on the rear end, uh, negative two degrees of camber. Normally I run negative one, so that's a little bit different than my normal settings. Um, almost no sway bar uh, in the back as well. I like this thing, kind of a looser setup. I do have it square with the wheels. It's 21 inch by 285s with a 25% profile front and rear. So those are identical. The engine I have maxed out all the way. Uh, I believe it's got about 830 horsepower when it's fully maxed. The differential at 0.5, you can see there, 3.6 overall gear ratio. And then down in the fifth and sixth gears is when I made some bigger adjustments um, in order to make sure that I can stay in drift, um, even for the higher speed stuff. So for this tune, I stay mostly in fifth gear and uh, sixth here comes into play for, like I said, just the real big, long tracks. And since I have the front fenders removed, I did um, bring those front wheels out as far as they could go, the front axis width, and it made a big difference. I can really notice how aggressively it'll turn and uh, drift and get to a you know steeper angle faster. So um, this one, if you guys are ever looking for this jump, it's on the LA block map uh, when you go to the open practice map. And I just like, to throw it around there for fun it's just something interesting to do so anyways that's it for the zsmo video guys uh, hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and leave a comment below we'll see you next time